I will show you how to assemble this uh, tunable diaphragm assembly with rim on the Litman Classic 2nd model and uh, this is not just uh, a tutorial for this specific you can install the diaphragm and the rim assembly on any model of the Litman using this technique in fact you can install this on any stethoscope by using this uh, technique I have seen some videos on YouTube uh, demonstrating how to attach this diaphragm and the rim on this Litman chest piece but um, they are just plain wrong they don't know how to assemble it and using that technique you may actually end up damaging the diaphragm as well as the rim and uh, of course it's uh, an expensive spare part so you don't want to damage it the, uh, what you have to do is basically first of all you obviously have to clean the chest piece I have already done it and uh, you uh, you can that's that's an optional step you can apply a little bit of talc on the inner surface of this diaphragm and tap it to remove the excess of the talc and the then uh, the the right method to attach this diaphragm to the chest piece is first you take the diaphragm and fit it inside the rim this is the first step you have to do fitted the uh, diaphragm, the tunable diaphragm inside the rim, uh, be sure to check, be sure to check the diaphragm before fitting it onto the chest piece that it is fitted inside the, uh, the, diaph uh, the rim completely and no part of the diaphragm is protruding inside the diaphragm. Now this is the step which becomes very easy after you have installed the diaphragm inside the rim uh, now to install the now to attach you can say the diaphragm and the rim assembly onto the chest piece and the L uh, it's it's basically the pers person preference but the right way to do it is to align the L uh, up the upper arm of the L should be in line with the uh, tube wing now just uh, press one side of this diaphragm and rim assembly onto the chest piece and with both your thumbs lightly press it onto the periphery of the chest piece and it should fit perfectly. There is no need to stretch it unnecessarily and after a little bit of patience and the right technique, here you go, this is the right way of fitting the diaphragm and the rim assembly onto the chest piece and uh, do not follow the other techniques or the methods which the YouTube videos are showing they are just plain wrong and you may end up damaging the uh, chest piece or the, da uh, the diaphragm or the rim so if you find this video helpful please uh, I'll be highly grateful if you leave a thumbs up for this video thank you